Hi everyone, I've been trying to develop old expired Kodachrome 40 in Caffeinol for some time now and I'm ready to share some of my results. Firstly, I tried Caffeinol CM with hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid bleach and then CM as a second developer. And where are the results of that, you're wondering? Well, you're looking at them. A completely black film, horrible result. On the whole, a massive failure. So I thought maybe the Caffeinol CM isn't doing the job, so I double concentrated it, and I'm calling that CMX2 for short. I used potassium permanganate and sodium bisulfate as a bleach, and CMX2 as a second developer, and I got this result. It was completely messed up, very thin images, weird fractal stains on it, emulsion peeling off, film may have been in contact with itself in the tank. Generally a 1 out of 10. So I tried warming up the CMX2 to 38 degrees and I got this result. I used the permanganate bleach again and I'm starting to have second thoughts about that because I think the bleach is causing the film to age like a hundred years. Interesting effect, uh, not what I'm looking for. So, on to the next result. Next, I tried to shoot the Kodachrome as a negative without the bleach, and it came out completely blank, just a clear, piss-coloured strip of film. No images at all. Um, I think I underexposed it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I underexposed everything up to now, because the old Kodachrome seems to be very insensitive to light. So, to test this, I went all out. I shot at two frames per second, aperture was wide open to 1.4, and I flooded the subject with uh, a very bright light. And in this case, it was some trinkets on my desk that I was moving around. I also processed the warm CMX2 as a negative, which is reversed on the computer. And this is what I got. Much, much better result. Um, at this point, the ingredients arrived for some special high contrast caffeinol mix, which was devised by Adrian Cousins, and I'll put his recipe in the video description. So with the high contrast caffeinol developer at 38 degrees, the parasitic bleach and a bright sunny day, I just needed to test how much light this film actually needed. The answer, a lot. It needs a lot of light. At f1.4, it came out with a very nicely exposed picture. Uh, the camera, left to its own devices, wants to shoot at f11, which as you can see is far too dark. And uh, thirdly I tried uh, f5.6, which gave a very nice shot of the back of my house looking like it was filmed in the 1920s. Obviously old Kodachrome is light hungry and uh, should be reserved for sunny days. While I was at it, I wanted to test out a Canon 814AZ that I'd recently acquired. Uh, came out looking uh, ooh, a bit weird. It, uh, something must be wrong with the camera because I got all this uh, streaky kind of slit scan almost effect. A bit like the end of that film, Interstellar. Finally, a combination of a bright sunny day, the UMIG set to f1.4, uh, the high contrast warmed up caffeinol, the parasitic bleach, second developer high contrast caffeinol as well, and I got this, a really lovely sepia tone picnic, looking even older than the film I was shooting it on. So I might do a few tweaks with developing times and maybe a different second developer, but uh, on the whole, I think I have an effective workflow for old Kodachrome, and it only cost me one roll for all these tests. So there we go, thanks to everyone who helped me this far and I'll post up my next endeavor soon, which is uh, shooting some Kodachrome sound film. So until then, keep the likes and comments coming. I probably wouldn't put up these videos if I didn't get all that great feedback. So thanks for that, and see you soon.